Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Granite Rock's Product Knowledge Seminar. My name is Jackie Serrano, and I will be your host today. For today's seminar, we have a very special guest who is an expert in the world of waterproofing products. For everyone's information, we will be recording this session to, be, to grant replay access to those who are unable to join our live event today. Before we get started, we ask everyone to please keep yourselves muted and camera turned off. The chat is open, so we encourage questions or comments throughout the meeting. If you happen to have a question, please add it to the chat section and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. I will now hand it off to Patrick. Go ahead, Patrick. Great, thank you, uh, Jackie, appreciate it. Um, and for uh, all those people that are familiar with me, uh, hello and uh, not hello. Uh, so Patrick Tool uh, with um, SNK Marketing Group. Uh, we are a manufacturer's rep group in uh, uh, California, Arizona, Nevada, and Hawaii. Uh, one of our largest product lines that we represent is uh, Protector Wrap. Uh, you're familiar with Protector Wrap. You uh, have uh, had Protector Wrap in all your locations for, I would say, going on probably 25 years in um, uh, various uh, variations in the material, particularly in the window and door flashing uh, materials there. Uh, your BT20, your BT25, those uh, types of items probably uh, sound familiar. And then in some of the locations, we've had um, uh, fluorine systems, our anti-fracture uh, membrane, uh, at, at AFM, WM, AFM, anti-fracture membrane, waterproofing membrane, AFM, anti-fracture membrane for ceramic tile stone applications, and then uh, the Protecto Deck uh, system. Available. Record. Oh. There we got it. Okay. So um, on the Protecto Deck system. So what we're going to talk about today are our three uh, main systems that Protector Wrap has for exterior flooring, uh, for ceramic, tile, and stone applications. Um, and we're going to go ahead and and go through those as well. Okay. So. The again, Protecto Deck system is we call our primary exterior deck waterproofing system for over occupied space, uh, tile and stone applications uh, mainly, and then more. And we'll go into what the more is as we move forward uh, with the presentation. But in basic, this is again over occupied space. It's one of the few, if not the only, system. Uh, that combines the best of a sheet membrane with a one component liquid membrane. So in past experiences, you may run into um, doing an exterior deck system with a hot mop, uh, hot mop uh, asphalt materials, which uh, will have a tendency to fail uh, in uh, five to six years um, applications. And then um, your metal flashing that you use in there is always problematic, and we'll go through that. Your AFM WM um, is a waterproofing anti fracture membrane uh, that we use, and that you can use for non occupied space uh, in an exterior application, as well as uh, slab on grade applications, as well as interior applications that we have. And then our anti fracture membrane which is just as it says, is an anti-fracture membrane for ceramic tile and stone applications. And you can use that for an exterior application, and we'll go through that. The first one we want to talk about is the Protecto Deck. So as I said, it's a waterproofing, or what's keyed uh, in is the primary waterproofing for an exterior deck over occupied space. Its main design originally was for tile and stone applications, because you can actually thin set directly to um, the material, the fabric face, which you may have seen in our standard anti-fracture membranes um, as well. Um, and then we also have some alternative applications in there, which we'll go through. So you're looking at balconies, sun decks, patios, exteriors in Hawaii. They call them, of course, lanais. Um, you can also do that. Basically, what we do if we, is we create a shower pan on the deck, what we do. And I'm going to go ahead and hopefully you guys can see me here. I've got some nice um, props here. And if you can basically, I don't know, uh, Jackie, you can tell me if you can see the system OK here. This is basically the system. You might have seen me carrying this around um, in the past. 
uh, some of the locations there. Uh, back. And so it basically combines uh, uh, four main products. One is the protective deck membrane, which is going to be this product here. You can see that. Um, it also combines a what we call our Protecto LM, which is a one component liquid membrane, our water based primer, a fabric, a detail tape for any pipes and protrusions. And then if your customers are doing anything, um, I know in like Carmel, Monterey area, uh, they require either a copper or a stainless steel flashing. And so we have a product for that that creates a buffer in that. So the first product that we want to look at is the Protecto deck material. And if everyone can see this, it's a 70 mil thick material. And for an exterior deck application, this is a, what you need. You need a, a certain thickness on there. Um, it's also an internally reinforced membrane. If you're all familiar with um, our Jiffy Seal product, which is our below grade product, which is a sticky two side below grade product. This is basically that product with a fabric on there so you can thin set tile and stone to it. Um, it also has a four inch overlap strip in there. So it creates a sticky to sticky um, adhesive in there. So it creates what's called a cohesive bond. So as you can see from the advantages that we're stating in there, 70 mil thick, it's actually a thin profile for uh, waterproofing. If you're doing a lot of waterproofing systems, it's usually a lot thicker. In this case, it's 70 mils internally reinforced with a four inch overlap strip. And again, internally reinforced. This system also for the um, areas up in the mountains, it is also a class A system as well when you have your tile uh, on top of that. So when you're talking your internal bond in there, basically when you're putting two pieces together, you can see there's two pieces there. You're creating a cohesive bond to itself. OK, there's no other system that's out there like that. Everything else has what's called a single sided HTPE facer on there. OK, your liquid membrane material, which is what we're showing here in a one gallon bucket. Um, if you um, if you see over here on the right hand side, that's the bucket. Uh, that's the bucket that I use for demos. So this is your protective deck, and this is your liquid membrane that you put on here. You're going to put that on all the seams, and you're going to put it put it on your deck to wall flashing. It goes on a blue color, and then it dries to um, a black color when it is um, when it's completely dry in there as well. Now again, you can use this with a number of different systems too uh, that will go over your water based primer. You might have seen this out there um, in some of your uh, locations comes in a one gallon and actually a five gallon bucket as well. Um, use that with this system. You can see the green on here. It goes on kind of a bluish green and it dries to a dark green uh, when it is uh, when it's dry. And tacky to the touch, which is really a, uh, a key to the performance of the material as well. OK, you don't want to put a membrane or anything on a wet, uh, a wet primer. Uh, the uh, Protecto LM uh, fabric in there. That's going to be this product right here. Comes in this roll. It's a 50 foot roll. Now what we do with this is we create we don't require metal flashing at this deck to wall transition in here. Um, everyone see me OK on this, Jackie? We good with that? You're good. You good? OK, great. OK, so you can see this fabric in here. So no deck to wall metal flashing is necessary with this system. Again, we're creating a shower pan on the deck. So you're using the fabric in here. You're going four inches up and four inches down. You're embedding the fabric in the one component liquid, and then actually you're putting two coats of liquid on top of that as well. So with metal flashing, what happens with metal flashing in all the forensics that I've been on, the potential for water to get behind the metal flashing and down into the first story and or to get underneath uh, the membrane or the liquid or whatever you have, is very, very problematic. So our goal is to stop that from happening. If you need to use a metal flashing, we do have systems that we've put together, um, actually a couple of them for some of um, 
uh, the people in Monterey and uh, Carmel area that currently use this system. Uh, so we do have that if you uh, if you do need that. If you're doing any type of. Um, if you're doing any type of uh, penetrations or pipe protrusions, uh, we have a product called our JS 500 detail tape. And you may have seen this out there in the field before. It's a double sticky unreinforced membrane. And if everyone can see this, so when you're doing your pipes, your drains, most of the projects you're going to have is going to drain off uh, at a quarter and 12 pitch. Everything has to be in a quarter and 12 pitch per California. Um, actually, it's an ICBO standard, but this is a conformable material. You can see how that conforms. It's going to conform around pipes and protrusions before you put your membrane on um, is an unreinforced material in there. OK. So, um, oh, let me go back here real quick. And then if you do have your uh, a copper flashing or a stainless steel flashing, you're going to need to use the universal primer free material as a, a buffer uh, between those uh, two products, the metal as well. And it's a, a self adhered membrane that doesn't need any primer. It'll stick to anything. It's like the super stick. If some of your stores have super stick in there, it's just a little thicker membrane to it. So we always want to make sure that uh, we're following uh, TCNA guidelines, the Tile Council of America guidelines in there um, for deflection. Uh, always want to make sure that you have a quarter and 12 slope in there already pre done. Um, now you can do it a number of different ways, and we actually have installation instructions that go through that. It can go on plywood, it can go on concrete and go on a combination of plywood and cement board. And uh, we can uh, talk to you more about that if you have some projects coming up. These are the four main products that we discussed in there. And again, with the copper and the stainless steel, um, uh, uh, reach out to me and I can help you and your customer with that and how that's all done. We have uh, a lot of uh, information on that. Um, making sure to pre-cut the protective deck membrane first is always a very important pre-cut and pre-measure in there. Your primer, as it shows, um, and hopefully these slides are moving along really good. The primer shows, again, going on in that kind of bluish green color. When it dries, it's going to dry to a dark green. It goes a long way, 250 to 350 square feet per gallon. And then once it's dry to the touch but not wet, right, then you can go ahead and start putting your uh, membrane on in a shingle fashion, meaning starting from the edge and working your way up in a shingle fashion using the four inch overlap strip on there. It does has what's called a split release on the back. And again, for those of you that have the super stick material in your yards, it has a split release on it as well. And so you can use that to your advantage. Um, and then of course, when you're cutting your fabric, cut your fabric in there and lay that uh, into your, as well as your pipes and protrusions in there as well, because you can see from that installation, these instructions and everything, these are just excerpts from the instructions. They are also online available to you. I do have sheets on them um, and I can get those to you and your customers at any time. So that's gonna create your deck to wall flashing. And again, no metal flashing is needed in this system. Again, unless your code in your area requires it, and then we can go ahead and uh, work with you on that. Uh, creating the system with the liquid membrane, the liquid membrane and the uh, protecto deck membrane, the sheet membrane have it has both have a 30 day UV exposure to it. The difference is that the liquid membrane is actually a paintable material as well. So if you have areas where you need to go up posts or what have you, you can actually paint that once it's cured. Okay. And you can see the system that we have in here on the overlap strip in there, even though it's a four inch overlap with a cohesive bond to itself, we like redundancy in waterproofing. And so you have a two coat and they're thin coats. Um, they're, they're not really uh, big coats. So you're not going to mess up when you're putting your thin set and your tile and your stone and everything 
um, down on there. So you're not going to have a uh, big buildup. You want to wait 24 hours for everything to completely cure. And then you do your 24 hour ASTM test um, flood testing on there. That system, this system gives you a 10 year material warranty. Um, the old uh, process, which was a, uh, a hot mop or a system in there or hot rubber, um, I don't think any of those guys would ever give you uh, uh, your customer uh, any type of warranty on there. And then as a tile setter, then of course you have to go back and you have to float it. And so there's a lot of work that needs to be done in order to get that system together. Okay. So here's some pictures of, uh, of a project. Actually, this is probably one of our first projects that we did in Monterey. It was overlooking Monterey Bay um, in there. And you can probably see the view in there uh, as well and how we went ahead and put this material down using our split release system in there to basically put one side on to set it into place, uh, which is what they're doing here, and then coming back and folding it back over. So now you have uh, a complete system in there where now you have the sticky to sticky coming together, nice and easy and all in a straight line. These rolls come in 50 foot rolls as well. Um, this was actually about 40 something feet in there uh, so you can do uh, long runs in there. This makes it a quick and easy system, okay? Um, by the way, any of these pictures and everything, and I think uh, Jackie was saying this is gonna be available for you guys to go ahead and uh, review uh, later. Uh, steps are also, um, is, is something we do not shy away from. Um, this system, again, we, this is about 300 or 3,000 square feet plus stairs. Um, it was an eight-hour project. We had five people on the project in there. Uh, and then uh, it actually, interesting enough, you can see in there how we did all the details and everything on there as well. Um, it actually rained for about 30 days and 30 nights. It was actually in October a number of years ago. Uh, so it was uh, probably one of the best flood tests that we could ever have. No tile was ever put on top of it for those 30 days and 30 nights. But after you go ahead and do your flood test, really all you have to do is squeegee it off, get any bulk water off there if there is, um, and then go ahead and put your um, tile or stone application on top of that. Okay, you can see some of the a uh, finished, uh, uh, finished system that's in there as well. And then there's a number of projects that are also uh, in uh, the Monterey, Santa Cruz, Carmel area that we have done over the last few years uh, that we'd be able to uh, direct you to as well. Okay. So you can see the view. Now, um, sometimes uh, we've come up with different systems where you maybe have to have a dry in what's called a dry in system in there where they want to do the stucco. They want to do everything first. You have your weep screed, you have your systems in there. So we actually created a dry in system that you can go ahead and waterproof this and the whole dry in and then you come back later after the uh, so it, it, you don't have to uh, worry about ruining the um, the bottom of the membrane and you can come back in later and go ahead and tie that in to the deck to wall flashing which this is going to be your most vulnerable areas in there so we've created systems to allow for that um, especially during the rainy season uh, which we're in right now i think we got rain coming in the next hour or so so if they want to do a dry in waterproofing system we do have that as well um, so some systems that are um, in here, and actually you may recognize some of these guys uh, that are in here uh, doing some of the systems. Uh, these are local systems in the Monterey and Carmel area. Um, you can see how they've also, with the primer, went ahead and put the uh, polyethylene sheeting on their shoes so they can walk in the primer. Very ingenious way of doing it. And this is regarding um, the copper membrane in there where we need to create a buffer system and we've created that for any areas i think carmel uh requires either a, 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 a copper or stainless steel so we created a system like that as well and again um any of your you know window door flashing systems 
that you need. We also have that. We do uh, on site um, uh, and off site, you know, training as well. So if any of your customers need us to go out and look at a project, or if you have a project coming up and you want to go ahead and either build one of these mock ups, we can go ahead and do that and work with your your customers um, as well as well as coming out to the individual stores and doing mock up presentations as well, similar to what we're doing here, but actually building uh, one of these um, mock ups and then actually leaving this with you or a couple of them so you can. Go around with them, OK? Here's this kind of a little video in here. It's got sound. The sound is just uh, for um, just the background, but I'm going to go ahead and just run this uh, through. This is kind of a basic, um, basic installation in here. And if everyone can see that, OK? Yes, it looks good. All good, Jackie? OK, great. I know sometimes with the internet, it kind of gets a little uh, back and forth, but so one of the key things you got to do is clean, uh, clean it off. Now the primer these guys are putting down is different than the one we use in California. The California one, as I said, is our universal water-based primer, which is green uh, that we have in there. Um, the other pro product is a, a solvent-based material, which you can't use in, in California. So after everything was rolled out in there, you're going to go ahead and take your liquid membrane. You want to do your corners first that you have in there. You're going to take your fabric and you're going to go ahead and um, cut the fabric into a corner uh, system in there, which is really easy to do. And then since your uh, fabric is a little shy of eight inches, basically you're looking at doing a four inch up, four inch down. Making sure to get into the seams in there. And again, that's redundancy um, that we have. Even though you have that four inch overlap, you're going to have a redundancy with the uh, the liquid system in there. Okay. All right. So we talked about too during this on the Protecto deck system that there's alternatives to just doing tile and stone applications. So if you can see in here, there's a number of different things that can be done um, between uh, a pedestal and paver system, which we are starting to do more and more with right now. Now in a system like this, when it's not going to be tile or stone, you want to put a minimum of a 5 8 inch mortar bed on top of the membrane. Um, always check with the architect or engineer, particularly on uh, weight and weight distribution for what you're going to do. Um, this helps with the point load when you're doing any type of pedestal systems. These pavers can get very, very heavy, as I'm sure you probably uh, do some of this type of application. This Protecto deck systems gives you a full waterproofing system. Your tile and stone, even a floated uh, sleeper system, wood system that you can use pavers, artificial turf. There's just so much that you can do uh, with this uh, with this system as well. So these are all uh, available to you um, and we probably haven't thought of some of the other systems that may be out there as well. The key thing is to do a 5 8 inch mortar bed or thicker on there. Again, that's point load as well as it protects the membrane because remember the membrane is only UV stable for 30 days and you want to be able to um, do that. Other systems that we have, uh, which you may already be familiar with, which is your AFM WM. Uh, we've made a few changes to the system makeup in here. Uh, the material is the same. The system makeup for exterior is a little bit different. Um, our AFM WM uh, can be used for over uh, waterproofing over non occupied space. Uh, meaning there's nothing underneath it, uh, whether it's uh, underneath a, a garage, it was still considered to be an occupied space or a kitchen or what have you. You want to go to the Protecto deck system, but if you're just doing it over a non occupied space where there's uh, just a patio, say uh, below it, then you can use the AFM WM. You use it in the same system as you would the Protecto deck. 
uh, with the liquid and everything's all the same uh, with that. It's just over non-occupied space and uh, gives you an anti-fracture plus a waterproofing membrane. And that'll be, you can be used in a slab on grade application too, if you want it to be a waterproofing system. The one thing nice about an anti-fracture membrane, as you can see from here, is the anti-fracture membrane will give you um, a uh, 3 8 of an inch crack isolation, and it's a little thinner membrane, and it has a two inch overlap instead of a four inch overlap to it. Okay, so one thing I do want to, um, you know, this is not just about the product, but it's about education, and feel, always feel free to uh, reach out to me at any time and ask me any questions. I'm happy to um, answer them for you, and if I don't know the answer, I will um, uh, get the answer for you with uh, my connections that I have. But one of the things we always have to worry about, particularly with exterior applications, is movement joints and failure of the design. Um, the key thing, NTCA guidelines on an exterior application is you're looking about an eight to ten, uh, every eight to ten feet, you want some sort of a soft joint in there uh, for the tile application. We can uh, help you and your designer uh, with that as well. Um, TCNA gives some really good details on joint details and movement details, expansion joints. Um, what you don't want to happen if you do a really nice, you know, job, whether it's interior or exterior, um, you want to make sure that you put your soft joints uh, in the right places. You want to use your expansion joints to what they're supposed to do is expand and not put any tile directly on top of that and we can uh, we can definitely help you with that the other big item that's in the industry has to do with moisture it's probably one of the biggest items uh, other than uh, expansion joints and covering expansion joints uh, any type of impermeable membrane, uh, so meaning it's not breathable, especially when it goes on concrete or a slab on grade application, you want to make sure that you don't have too much moisture drive or vapor drive coming up through that and or hydrostatic pressure, which is actual water pressure coming up through that. There's tests that you can do um, in there, whether it's a um, uh, a uh, RH test or a moisture probe system in there um, or calcium chloride test and there's certain guidelines to do that. If you get over say three to four pounds of pressure that comes up in there, um, you can reach out to me, you can reach it out to any of my staff in there and we can help you on how to uh, address those types of issues. One of the items that we do uh, a lot with is a uh, moisture vapor blocker. We actually represent a product called Synac, um, with, which has to do with uh, vapor as well as hydrostatic pressure when putting an impermeable membrane uh, directly on top of uh, a concrete slab. And we can help you with that as well. AFM uh, versus AFMWM. Again, the AFMWM. As I said, the AFMWM is going to give you a two inch overlap system in there, 40 mils thick as opposed to the 70 mils thick in there. It's not internally reinforced, but uh, doesn't need to be in this case because you're doing over non occupied space for one. Um, again, three eighths of an inch crack isolation that can be used for interior or exterior applications. It's also an IATMO approved product and system for shower pan. So as we told you in the beginning with the Protecto deck, it's a sh we're making a shower pan on your deck. Basically what we're doing is we're taking that same Protecto deck system and we're putting that into the shower pan, into an actual shower pan. Um, also an anti-fracture membrane. So using it in conjunction with our liquid membrane, same type of thing, the fabric, the JS500 detail tape, we can create that IATMO approved shower pan. Again, instead of doing a hot mop system, they can do this. They actually will slope everything uh, first, and you can directly apply your thin set tile uh, to the AFM WM in that case. And I'll give you that three eighths of an inch anti fracture, which was considered to be in the industry a high performance. Um, a liquid anti fracture membrane will give you maybe an eighth of an inch anti fracture. 
um, at a certain thickness. Um, with our product, particularly, it'll give you an anti-fracture three-eighths of an inch or a high performance, which is a pretty big distance in there, three-eighths of an inch crack isolation. Now, again, that is um, that is uh, horizontal uh, movement in there or lateral movement. Uh, if you can see my hands in there, that means it's moving this way. That's a crack isolation membrane. If it's moving, if your concrete slab or anything's moving this way, it doesn't uh, uh, allow for that. Um, if you have this, you have bigger issues. OK, all concrete is going to crack. We always say that there's two types of concrete, one that has cracked and one that will crack. So an anti-fracture membrane will allow that crack to move. It won't allow that transfer of energy to go and crack your tile on top. And. And you can see this here. That's kind of an idea of what a crack isolation membrane does. This actually I've had for about 35 years, traveled three countries uh, with me, and the tile still hasn't cracked. So it has a long longevity to it. Remember, all products have a 10 year warranty with protector wrap as well. Your standard anti-fracture membrane you can do um, for slab on grade and exterior application as an anti-fracture membrane, not as a waterproofing membrane. All we want you to do is uh, do the seams with the liquid and then do around the perimeter and we have systems on that too. Always making sure to do moisture tests in there uh, for hydrostatic pressure and vapor drive. So this is just uh, a step by step. Um, say a slab on grade application, making sure that everything's clean um, as a crack isolation membrane in there. You can see all that's done with the steps. They were actually even putting an extra liquid on there just in case. Um, you can do heated floor systems with this as well. It's rated for heated floor systems. This actually is actually done at Denver, Colorado, so they wanted heated floors on the outside. Um, again, uh, this is your um, uh, primer that you're doing on there. This is again, so it's out of state. Uh, you would actually use your green primer in here with this one. Okay. Layout is always critical in there. Always make sure to lay out the system first without taking off the uh, the protective layer on the back, because uh, once you put that stuff uh, down and is sticky on the primer, uh, the goal is that it will never come up and it will never come up. OK, so you can see some of the systems that you have in there. Uh, always proper drainage. We talked about quarter and 12 pitch, whether that's going off uh, to um, say with a uh, off the deck or it's going to a drain or it's going to a line drain like something like this. Details are always probably the most important. We have all the flashings, all the liquids and everything that have to do with that as well. So. Um, and we're coming up against a little bit of time, trying to give some time for questions. So one thing to always remember with uh, Protector Wrap is that we do have your AFM. We have your AFM WM material, the Protecto deck. We also have Whisper Mat CS, which is a sound control product that we have that you can use for interior applications. You can make that waterproof HW our LVT for sound control and our liquid membrane. We'll go over those in just a second here. So with your Whisper Mat CS material, if you have anyone doing particularly an interior application where they have a sound control upstairs or a multifamily application, you have your Whisper Mat CS, which is a ceramic tile and stone application. It's similar to the Protecto deck without the waterproofing, and you do an interior application like this, it does not have an overlap. You butt them up together. Now, what you can do with this, though, is you can use the liquid membrane and you can make this into an interior waterproofing um, and uh, water resistant system as well with that. And so we'll go. You can kind of see the application here in this case with the waterproofing and sound control. You've got uh, you're going to put on two coats of liquid with your um, uh, fabric reinforcement in the corners first. You're going to put our primer down and then a sound control. And then basically you have a waterproof application for say in a bathroom outside of the shower area, a kitchen area where you want sound control. 
It's going to give you the same type of thing as the AFM WM, except for it's going to give you sound control characteristics to it as well. And we have probably one of the highest sound control ratings in the industry for the thinnest profile that's out there in the market. Okay. Our LVT material, um, I know you guys don't get into that, but if you have customers, flooring customers that do LVT and LVP, um, we do have sound control systems for that, which is a loose laid uh, material as well. Always remember with crack isolation that if you do a crack isolation um, system in there, we do have uh, rolls that are specifically designed for that. Always make sure to go three times the size of the tile uh, covering over the crack that's in there to allow for expansion and contraction. Of course, never uh, put soft joints on, on either side and never put the grout right in the middle of the crack. So uh, always make sure to tell your, your customers that. Um, we do have kits that are crack isolation kits that are available. Um, we don't want to use these in an exterior application. These are just interior applications. You don't want to crack chase in an exterior application. You want to do a full membrane system on there, but this will give you a crack isolation. You can crack chase with big rolls. You can crack chase with these rolls. We have a couple different roll sizes of 12 by 25 and a 12 by 75. And then of course, in the bigger rolls, the 36 by 75, which I think some of your stores um, currently have in there as well. Like I said, there's two types of concrete, one that has cracked and one that will crack. It's always gonna be moving. Okay. Um, coming down to the protector wrap, remember on a, that we do both commercial residential products from below grade waterproofing all the way to the roof line, everything in between sheet membranes, flashings. Um, we're a big promote, uh, proponent of uh, the systems approach. As you can tell with the Protecto deck and the AFM, the AFM WM, we have the system uh, that you use in there. The same thing with the flashing. Uh, we do have the compatible sealant. We have the compatible primer. Uh, we all we have uh, primerless materials. So we have a number of products that are all available uh, to you. I think you have a distributor that comes down every uh, week or every other or twice a week that can distribute the material to you as well. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. These are some other product lines that we also do uh, represent if uh, you're interested in learning more. Uh, again, on the protector wrap side, we do the waterproofing and flooring membranes. On keen building products, you probably know us from the rain screen uh, materials and ventilation. We've done some of that. Hydroblock was a waterproof shower system uh, for zero barrier applications. Amico Hydro Dry does self-draining systems and ventilations, incorporates the Keen system. The Synac, which is the moisture mitigation that we talked about. Um, if anyone is interested in Fila sur surface care products, these are your clean cleaners and sealers and waxes for your tile and stone materials. Um, PPK, Professional Products of Kansas, is an RTV silicone uh, for exterior use, uh, uh, sealer as well as anti-graffiti. Enduracoat is a waterproofing decking system. And then Bostic uh, is flooring adhesives, grouts, and floor leveling uh, materials. So with that, I'm going to go ahead. I'll leave you my information there. Um, as well to contact me, uh, you can contact Protector App at protectorapp.com, uh, as well as uh, um, let me know if you have any questions on any of these systems, need any help with uh, any joint calls, and happy to help you out. Thank you, Patrick. Are there any questions? Robert, go ahead. Hey, Patrick, it's Robert Ellenwood. Oh, hey, Robert. <laughs> Been a long time. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to touch base on the Protecto deck. Is that compatible with the Metacrylic finishes? No, um, we haven't done any testing with anything going over it other than ceramic tile and stone. Um, 
we are in the middle of doing some testing with some of those types of systems, but we have uh, we don't have anything confirmed yet. OK, and my second question is, um, are there any uh, sealants or caulkings that we should stay away from while we're using any of these systems? Like I'm for... so glad you asked that. <laughs> 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 so yes, uh, so these unless you're using a butyl based or a synthetic butyl material if you're using an asphalt based product which the protecto deck is um, you definitely want to stay away from high uh, solvent based sealants and caulkings um, the only one that we recommend and can recommend of course is the protecto sealant 25 xl which is a polyurethane sealant um, you guys probably I think most of you guys have it in your um, in your yards, um, and that is the only sealant that we would recommend that is compatible with all of our products, but particularly for um, asphalt-based materials. And that goes for every asphalt-based peel and stick company. Um, stick with their compatible sealant because you don't know uh, what the other companies are making it out of it changes constantly sadly enough yeah that's so true well thank yeah. you yeah and then uh, of course with uh we have all the primers and everything to to go along with that so compatibility is very very critical and if you have any like i said if you all if you have any questions on what's compatible and what's not the basic answer is the only thing that's compatible that we know of with our asphalt based material is going to be that protecto sealant 25 XL when it comes to sealants. Great, thank you, Pat. Yeah. There's a comment in the chat. It says, do you have any general comments on green and sustainability and the move towards those and your products? Uh, green, uh, oh, like um, uh, for green, well, so, the primers are water-based material. We do have some lead points. If you're if they're looking for lead points on some of the items, um, we do have a sheet on that that I'd be happy to send to you uh, with that. Um, on the building side, particularly when you're dealing in the synthetic butyl materials, those are green products. That would be our super stick, which some of your yards have. Um, that's about as green as green can get in there. Um, and of course, uh, butyl actually has some green attributes to it as well. Most of the, from a window and door flashing standpoint, most of the industry is going to butyl and synthetic butyl. Um, synthetic butyl being the one that um, is primer free. It's gonna be like your super stick or your universal primer free material. Uh, but if you'd like information on uh, lead points, I can uh, go ahead and, and send that to Jackie. Good, thank you. Good, good answer. Any other questions? Then I think that'll wrap up today's product knowledge seminar. Thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate your participation and hope it was of your liking. We also hope to see you all here Thursday, November 3rd to further expand your knowledge on Granite Rock aggregates same time as today 10 a.m to 11 a.m once again i would like to thank patrick for taking time today to share his knowledge with us that concludes today's product knowledge seminar hope everyone has a great rest of your day thank you thank guys you thank you, thank you. Hey, thanks, thanks everyone thanks, appreciate it see you soon see ya